Yo, what's up, guys? It's Bippy's Reviews here today, and today I'm here to give you another episode of NHL 2011-2012 Season Preview. And today, on this episode, we're going to be focusing about the Philadelphia Flyers, which have had the most, I don't know, they really messed up their team, but it's whatever. We're going to get started um, of who they lost in the all season and... The biggest two that come to mind is going to be Richards and Carter. I mean, they were the heart and soul of their team. I don't know why Paul Holmgren did that, but, you know, it's they wanted to build a team and get it goalie, and I think that Bobrovsky is going to be a really good NHL goalie to come in the next couple of years. If they sign Vokun, you know, Vokun only wanted a million and a half. I mean, that's – it's just stupid in my mind. I mean – why would you go out and trade your two best players and just mess up your team? I don't know what they were doing, but they lost Richards, Carter, oh yeah, and um, Richards, they got Braden Shen and Wade Simmons, and I think they got another guy, I don't know who that guy is, or draft pick, I don't know, but yeah, um, they lost, Car they traded Carter to Columbus, and they got um, a first round draft pick, like a third round draft pick, and um, Jacob Voracek, who's gonna be a good um star to come in the NHL in the next couple of years. Um, they lost Nikolai Zherdev. I mean, he's pretty good finesse forward, like a sniper. Um, they lost Daryl Powell. He was a grinder, not that important. Um, Christopher Stieg, he was a good two way forward, second line about. Um. I don't think that's going to be as, um, they got, like, Jacob Voracek, Braden Chen, I mean, they'll replace Christopher Stieg, and they'll be better than him. Um, they got Sean O'Donnell, who, in my mind, is a really solid defense, my, I like Sean O'Donnell, um, they got Boucher, like I said, they got Brzezgalov, so they're not going to need Boucher anymore, um, let's see, their gains, they got Ilya Brzezgalov, who's, was the, like, probably, Second best goal in the NHL behind Tim Tom is my opinion. Um, he's really good. He led that Phoenix Coyotes team to the playoffs two years in a row. I mean, Phoenix is a crappy team. They have like no one except Shane Doon. But they got Jacob Vorchek. Um, he's gonna be an up and coming star, like I said, in the future. Braden Shen, he's gonna be an up and coming star in the future. And um, they got Talbot. They signed him like a five year deal or four. But he's a good, solid third-line grinder. Um, they got Andreas Loja, who's another solid defenseman. Um, let's talk about the up-and-comers. They got Sean Couture. They drafted with the eighth overall pick, I think. In the next couple of years, he's probably going to be playing with Adirondack, maybe Flyers in the next couple of years. So, um, played in the queue. Put up like 90-some points in 60-some games. That's pretty good in my mind. Um... They, he was projected to get first overall, like, mid-season rankings, but I don't know what happened. He had, like, a, I don't, just crappy second half of the season. Um, let's see, they got Eric Wellwood, um, brother of Kyle Wellwood. He plays for Vancouver, I don't, I think. Um, let's get to the lines. These are the lines I have. Probably can't see it that good. They got first line. They got Giroux, Yager, and Van Riemsdyk. Um, Braden Shen, Vorchek, and Briere on the second line. Hartnell, Talbot, and Simmons on the third line. And Shelley, Betts, and Laperriere on the fourth line. And on defense, they got Timonen and Pronger, Coburn and Carter, Loja and Mazaros, and Brzezgalov and Bobrovsky as the goalies. But you Flyers fans are probably going to be thinking I'm out of my mind, but I really think you guys screwed up in the offseason. I mean, a lot of people think that, and that's probably, I mean, it's just because they wanted a goalie, but still, they're right on the salary cap line, and they dumped off their two best players. I mean, it's just stupid in my mind. I know I've said that a lot, but it actually is. But I predict that Flyers aren't going to make the playoffs, so a lot of you Flyers fans are probably going to be mad, but that's just what I think. They're probably going to come in like ninth place, but in a couple of years, they'll be right back up to where they were 
this season. So this is Pippi's Reviews, and I'm out. Take it easy, boys.